Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we'll be talking about how to use the Blackboard or the BBP BBC platform for your online classes. So, as you know, due to the coronavirus, we're mostly online for classes 70% of the time, and another 30% for people who have practical face to face classes. So, all the online lectures will be delivered on BBC platform. So this is what the tutorial is about today. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step way on how to access this, how to manipulate the software so you can get a good understanding of your online lectures and just make the best of your online experience. So here we're going to use the OURVLE website and if you don't know how to access OURVLE, I have a very detailed video on how to access OURVLE. I just drop it running across the screen right now and it just shows you how to log in it's just basically typing in or you are really putting your id number your password and you log in and we're at this page so all you are really shows you the list of courses that you're registered for and it also shows you persons who are online not that that is important you can message them if you want but basically just show you the courses that you're registered for if you don't know how to register, I also have a registration video. And that registration video shows you a step-by-step -step way on how to register for each and every one of your courses. If you're not registered for your courses, it will not show up here. And if you're not registered for your courses, you cannot do examinations. So you have to register for your course and you have to know how to use OURVLE and you have to know how to use BBC. So let's jump into it. I'm just going to select this genital urinary system class so usually we don't see these puzzle icons and or you are really these are the new things and these are basically the doors to your classroom so usually you can see the different lectures like the topics of the lectures for the different classroom beside a puzzle icon so management of an in, of an infertile couple this would be a class that i have at a specific time or our lecture can just group everything in one and just have a classroom one specific classroom where each of the lectures just access it and they add their different puzzle icons so this is what our lecture did right here so let's jump into this one so while that is loading as i said before you can have individual icons for different classes or different lectures or you can just have a topic or a general classroom where all the lectures list all their topics so here you see the genital urinary system course room and it's unlocked so some of the times the lecturers may not put up a lecture or a puzzle for themselves for the individual lecture that they're giving they can just use the classroom to deliver this deliver their lecture so you can go in the course room if necessary i'll show you how to do that or sometimes they can just put their lectures here you'd see say for instance we have management of an infertile couple you see management of an infertile couple and you'll see the time when it's available so if you have a class eight to nine you'd see available eight to nine and if it's eight o'clock right where you see available you'd see in progress so that means the lecture is going on so let's jump into this right now to show you what the BBC platform is about. So as you select the lecture that you want to go in or the room that you want to go in, you're going to see this come up and you're just going to press join session because you want to join, you want to go to your classes. So while that is loading, it may take a while because my internet is a bit poor and not very fast, I must say. So while that is loading, as I said before, guys, online platforms are sometimes very tricky if you're not technologically savvy so this is why i try to do this tutorial for you to just help you guys a bit and as i said my net is not very fast so usually while you you notice how long this is taking so what i do i try to log in at least five to ten minutes before class and try to turn on my classroom so i get it running so i'm there on time so if i was doing this while the class is going on i'll be like four three to four minutes late and i don't want that so I log in at least 5 to 10 minutes before because you can always go in your classes before and wait for your lecturer if 
necessary as long as it's open you notice how long mine is taking it's my internet problem but yeah log in five to ten minutes before and you'll be fine and you'll be on time so look don't worry, the session is loading. I'm still here. So please wait and they say it's not much longer. So let's see how long this will take. So this is another problem we have with online platform. Your internet may not be very good and it may take a while to log in. So you have to make sure you're on time or before the time to log in. So look, you're almost there now. It says joining session right so this is where it says welcome so you would not see this page if there was an actual class you'd see a lecture or you see a group of classmates logging into the classroom and you see the lecture put up their lecture slides and they're ready to teach if they're early so i'm just going to show you the different things on the blackboard platform so this is a blackboard you can see the background is black no wonder they call it blackboard so here over here you can follow my cursor you see this open collaborate panel so this is the chat box so i'm the only one in the classroom so you'd see one here if there's 150 persons you'd see 150 person log in here so this is the chat the chat box where you can say something to your lecture hi how are you i'm not hearing they say good morning can you hear me you say good morning yes i'm hearing you or you can type and say please remember to record because some of the time your your lecturers don't remember to record the session and they're supposed to record them so you just remind them hey good morning miss or sir please remember to record and you just use the chat box they ask you a question use the chat box to reply if necessary and you can also use a different way to reply but you can turn on your audio right here so it's usually off make sure it's off when you log into the class because you don't want anybody to be here in your business so you see it's off right there and you can turn it on to say hi miss blah 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 you got a question yeah so if you have a question just like in class you cannot just shout it and say oh what is this what is that you have to raise your hand so this is the raise hand button. So you raise your hand or your arm using this one. So you see the one there to show that my hand is raised. And the lecturer will see this notification and say somebody raised their hand. And they'll respond accordingly. And then they say, yes, your hand is raised. Do you have a question? And you just say, yes, I do have a question. You share your audio and you say, hi, miss. What do you mean by the cell is this? and they'll answer so on and so forth. Some of the lecturers rather to use the microphone and the raised hand system rather than type it in the chat box. It all depends on your lecture, lecturer. And when you're finished, you just lower your hand and your question is answered and that's fine. And the next one is, yeah, when you're finished, the class, this is basically it for the software. They just you chat there, you raise your hand there, you share your audio there. Here's a video button. You don't share your video. Nobody wants to see you. You probably see your lecturer if they need if they want you to see them sometimes. But you don't share your video none at all. Unless maybe it's a presentation that you're doing. So that's it for this platform there and you just learn and when the lecture is finished, you come to this three button icon and you're going to press leave session right here. I just going to ask you for a little review. If you don't want to review anything about your experience, you just press skip like I always do. I'm just going to log you out of the session. See, you left the session. You can now close this window. So my class is finished and bam, I closed it. And I want to go to our next classroom. I jump into my courses. I look for another classroom. And I say, oh, I have this class now. And I jump into that one and do the same thing over and over. Look for the class that I have and I just go in just the same. Another key thing I want you guys to know about is how to access the recordings. So it's the same button right here. You come to the classroom or the virtual classroom that they have where you are basically the door to your classroom. Press this three little line, horizontal line thingy and you're going to see recordings. 
So here is all the recordings that we did for that class because they're supposed to record and you can access them later on. And you press on them like this. You watch now and it takes you back to the recording. Some of the times you think your recordings have disappeared because you don't see them anymore. And that's not a problem. It's not disappeared. It's still there. They're basically filtered by date. So if you're not seeing some of your classes, just come here. Recent recordings. Recording in range. And you select the time I want to see my class from August 3rd to about the 22nd of August and you still see all the classes that were there before so if you don't see them don't panic they're still there just look for them in the range because some of the time it may be off and basically guys that's basically how to use a blackboard platform and I think we should try to appreciate the online platform it's a big change but at least we don't get to sit out an entire year in school not doing anything because of the entire pandemic that is going on. It's still something. It's not the best. It's not 100% effective. There's always advantage and disadvantage. But I think we can try to make use of it, guys, and just try to do the best you can. And, yeah, try to make it an exceptional semester. And that is all for today's video. When you're finished with all your classes, you can just select your name up here, log out, and just come out the system and you're finished. And that's basically it for Blackboard tutorial today. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.